He knew he shouldn't have fibbed about Dad making him work. But now, if he went over to Gloria's and she wanted him to learn to ride her bike, he could make the excuse that he had a job to do at home and leave. Then he heard Dad's truck in the driveway. Hi, Julian. Hi, Huey. Hello, Julian. Hi, Dad. Guess who we just met in the road, Julian? Gloria, doesn't she have a great new bicycle? It's okay, if you like bicycles. We saw it up close, very close. Didn't we, Huey? Dad gave him a big, steel-bending smile. We sure did. And Gloria waved to us. I thought her bike was going to fall over, and then I stopped the truck at the side of the road. It looked as if Gloria was going to ride her bike straight in my window. But she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. But I thought to myself, Gloria must be in a mighty big hurry to tell me something. And I was right. You were right. He felt the way he did during a horror movie when he didn't like how the story was going and wanted to leave. Only this wasn't a movie. He couldn't leave. And you know what Gloria told me? What Gloria told you? Yes, what Gloria told me. I don't know. Gloria told me. She told me. That it is a shame that I'm making you work practically night and day all summer long. She said that it's terrible that I'm giving you so many jobs that you won't even have time to learn to ride a bicycle. She said that? Yes, she did. She said that she was very surprised. She said that she didn't think I was that kind of man. That kind of man? I'm pretty, pretty sure that Gloria thinks I'm mean. 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 Now, since I don't remember saying anything to you about working day and night all summer long, I was tempted to ask Gloria what she was talking about. But I didn't. You know why I didn't ask her? Because I decided to ask you first, Julian. That's why. Tell the truth, Sparks was shooting out of Dad's eyes. So, now I'm asking, Julian. What was Gloria talking about? Just a minute. I can explain. And he told his brain to come up with something fast. Gloria didn't understand what I meant. I did tell her you had lots of jobs around the house. But what I meant... Yes? What I meant was, I want to work a lot this summer. I want to save money for when I'm a grown-up. Now, <laughs> let me try to understand this properly. You are a little boy, and you want to work practically night and day all summer long in order to save money for when you are grown up? Yes. I want to save money for a racing car. Do you know how much money a racing car costs? Not exactly. But you want to work practically night and day all summer long to buy one. Definitely. Hmm, I see. Well, Julian, you're in luck. I think I can keep you busy practically all day, all summer long. We'll skip the match. Well, what do you say, Julian? Terrible. I mean, terribly nice of you. I mean, work wonderful. What luck! Right after lunch, Dad offered Huey the same great opportunity he'd offered Julian to work all summer. No thanks. I'd rather go and play at Gloria's house. Then Dad gave Julian his jobs. Julian, would you polish these shoes? All of them? Yes, Julian. I'm sorry there are only 12 pairs. I was saving these two old pairs for a dog to chew. But we don't even have a dog. If we ever get a dog. But you might as well clean them anyway. And uh, when you finish the shoes... If I ever finish them. The porch could do with a sweep. 
And while you're out there, you could brush the cobwebs off the ceiling. That should keep you busy till I get back. Now, bye for now. So he started on the shoes, then the porch, then the porch ceiling. He'd just finished when Dad came in. Hello, Julian. I'm home. Was it 4.30 already? He'd been so busy the time had just flown by. But oh, how his neck ached from reaching up at those cobwebs. Hello, Dad. I think we're practically out of jobs around here. Really? Hmm. Don't you worry, Julian. I'd hate you to be out of work. There's still plenty of jobs for you. Hmm. Why don't you weed the garden? After weeding the garden, it wasn't just his neck, it was his back that was out of order, and his fingers, and his legs. In fact, the only thing that was in order was his brain. Well, come on, brain. Lead me to dinner. His brain led him to dinner, but then nearly made him fall asleep into it. Julian. Julian. Julian, if you nod one more time, your chin is going to make a crash landing in your dinner. Julian is tired. Actually, I'm aching all over. I have the strength to eat. If you really can't eat anymore, Julian, a nice hot bath might relax your muscles. Okay, Mom. In the bathroom, I helped Julian off with his clothes. It was just like when he was little. And you get, Julian? Shall I scrub your back for you? Mm Mm-hmm. Dad told me he's sorry you're not getting time to learn to ride Gloria's bike. That's okay. Of course, I want to learn, but it can wait. Also, Dad is very proud of you. She is? He likes the way you stick to what you say you'll do and the way you work hard. He does? Yes, Julian. He said you'd done a very good job with everything. Really? Uh Uh-huh. Dad is pushing me too hard. He's making me suffer. Sometimes, Julian, suffering is the beginning of happiness. I helped him out of the bath and helped him dry off and then put on his pajamas the way I did when he was little. Sometimes we have to suffer a little to do the things that are worth doing, to do the things that really make us happy. Do you mean things like earning money? Yes, it could be that, or simple things. Like telling the truth? I practically almost always tell the truth. Well, let's see. For example, I wonder what you truly think about bicycles. You really want to know? Yes, I do, Julian. And you won't tell anybody, not even Dad? No, I won't tell anybody, Julian, not even Dad. The truth is, Mom, the truth is, I don't like them. You know, I thought you didn't like them. I hate bicycles. I hate the tires, the wheels, the spokes, the pedals, the chain, the mud guards, the handlebars, the reflectors, and the lights. And that's just the beginning. What's the rest? The rest is I hate the idea of falling. You might not fall. Then again, I might. That would be suffering. Oh, don't worry, Julian. Come give me a hug.